There are some procedural issues that should be thought through in advance. There's more than one way of obtaining a divorce in the state of Nevada. For example, there is a process out there for something called joint petition divorces. The parties are co-petitioners rather than plaintiffs and defendants. Uh, we don't do these divorces for several reasons. Amongst these and, and are some ethical issues surrounding the relative ease of making allegations when nobody is on one side or the other technically. So we simply have chosen as a firm not to engage in joint petition divorces. The traditional method of seeking a divorce is for the plaintiff, either party, to file a complaint on the defendant, who then either defaults, in which case relief is granted, or answers, in which case it's a contested matter, which begins the clockwork in the statute that leads to a date of trial. There is a self-help center with a do-it-yourself fill-in-the-blank forms that can be accessed from our divorce page. Uh, and they have available both joint petition and traditional divorce uh, forms for those that wish to try to do these sorts of things themselves. Divorce is a linear process. It begins with the filing of a complaint and it ends up with the issuance of a decree. We have posted a flowchart on our divorce page showing all the steps between the one and the other, from the initial filing of the complaint through discovery all the way to the date of trial. In any contested matter, however, either party can file a motion for temporary relief, such as uh, for temporary custody, exclusive possession of the residence, uh, money from one side to the other, etc., which orders remain in effect until they're either changed or until the final resolution upon the issuance of a decree of divorce. You can see an explanation for how that works under preliminary matters and motions, also on this website. Eventually, by stipulation, negotiation, or by way of trial, a case ends with the entry of a decree of divorce, which restores the parties to the status of single persons and is supposed to be the resolution of all issues contested between them. Either party, after the issuance of such an order, can appeal uh, within certain very strict time limits. These are described in some detail on the appeals page of our website, which also includes the briefs filed in various appeals that we've handled, the opinions that were rendered in those cases, and when available the audio of the oral arguments in the cases that were appealed.